Amazon.com sucks and is ruining retail businesses of all kinds around the world. And it's not just businesses in the industry that I'm in. All of them. Let me tell you a story that'll make all this make sense. This is Jeff. Jeff is a nerd. A nerd that got beat up in high school and didn't have any friends, so he decided... I'll show them. I'll become the richest man in the world, and it'll start from selling books on the internet.com. You know the rest of the story, right? Old Jeffy Barr started Amazon in 1994 selling books online and completely ruined the book and publishing industry and was so successful, he decided to take his strategy to all industries. The Jeffinator started selling everything under the sun and lots of it. The strategy was to buy in such large volumes that he got his products at the lowest prices possible and then sell those products at extremely low profit margins. His strategy was to basically run the business at a loss, but do so much volume that the value of the company would be really high, and that's when he'd make his move. People loved Amazon. It was so convenient, and they had good prices on all the products that you'd buy anywhere, but there's two dates that change the way retail works forever. Those dates are the year 2000 and 2005. In 2000, Amazon made their site available to third-party sellers to sell their products on the largest retail website in the world. And in 2005, they launched Prime. No, I'm not talking about the stupid energy drink that everyone drinks because the guy that filmed dead bodies in a Japanese forest tells them to. And I'm not talking about the service that gave us this absolute abomination. But they did give us this, this, and this. So they're not all bad. I'm talking about Amazon Prime, the service you pay a yearly subscription to that's gone up in price about six times that gets you free two-day shipping on every single product they sell on the site. Well, it used to. Now it's more like, hey, you get it when you get it. At least for me anyway, but I live in rural BF North Carolina, so maybe it's just me. When old Jeffy Poo launched Amazon Prime, this is when you started hearing people say, Phew, why would I drive to the store when I can just order it and Amazon will bring it right to me in two days? And it was at this moment when our industry and many other industries started taking a dive. Oh, I almost forgot. 2006 is another important date in this conversation. That's when old Jeffy Jeffy Oxenfree started Fulfillment by Amazon. This is a service where you as a manufacturer can send thousands of your products to an Amazon warehouse where it'll be stored, sold, and shipped to customers for a fee, a huge fee, but they'd also handle returns and customer service for you. So as the retailer, you have to do nothing but buy or make the product, ship it to a fulfillment center, and turn it over to Amazon to handle everything. This is a really important part of the story, so don't forget this. So good old Jeffy Jeffy Bang Bang, the nerd that looks like a combination of Golem and Dobby had become the richest man in the world by creating the largest retail website in the world by selling everything you could ever imagine at discount prices. Opening his website so anyone could sell on it and torturing his workforce. What could possibly go wrong? Well, a lot. The list of problems with Amazon and the way they do things is vast, but I really want to focus this video on two things because they impact our industry directly. Actually, they impact every industry, but for the sake of this video, we'll talk about the aquarium industry because, well, that's what I do. We're going to talk about Amazon's piss poor management of pricing and people taking full advantage of our stupidity. I know you're stunned right now because so many of us spend all day looking for the next reason to be offended, but you heard me correctly. I said people taking advantage of our stupidity. But let's talk about pricing first. Let's say you manufacture a product. For the sake of this video, let's pretend you've spent years manufacturing the perfect aquarium product and you're ready to release it for sale. When you offer that product to retailers, you're going to sell it to them wholesale. The more they buy from you, the cheaper you're going to sell it to them for. This is how it's done. So a big swinging dick comes to you that has massive buying power. He's a big shot with a big retailer and he wants to buy 5,000 of your products. So you sell them to him 10% cheaper than the store you just sold 20 of them to. 
Mr. Big Shot says, hey, we're the big important retailer. We want to sell all 5,000 of these as fast as possible, and we paid 10% less for them. So let's charge 10% less than what that loser across the street is. It's pretty obvious what's going to happen in this situation. Everyone's going to buy from the big swinging dick because everyone wants to save money. So no one goes to the little guy. He doesn't make any sales and eventually goes out of business. Well, thankfully in our industry, and again, pretty much all industries, the manufacturers have the right rules in place to protect the small retailer. It's called the minimum advertised price, or what we'll call map pricing. This is where a manufacturer regulates what their product can be sold for by setting a minimum. Here's an example, Marison from Fritz. This is a very popular medication for fish that everyone's familiar with. Fritz set the map price for the 10 pack of Marison to $18.99. This means that a retailer can sell this for anything $18.99 and up, but cannot sell it for under that. Let's say you're one of those people that enjoys ripping people off. Well, you can sell Marison for $28.99 and that's perfectly acceptable because it's over $18.99, but you can't sell it for under that $18.99 mark. This keeps everything a level playing field for everyone. If you're that big swinging dick, you can buy it cheaper from Fritz because you buy so many, but you can't take advantage of that by undercutting your competition. I personally don't have huge buying power with my business, so my discounts aren't as good as Mr. Dick Swinger, but that's okay because he still has to sell it for the same amount that I do. If he doesn't, the manufacturer will contact him and say, hey, Cut it out or we won't let you sell our products anymore. And just as a side note, if you're ever curious about what the map price is on some of your favorite products from the big manufacturers, just go on our website and look. We set our prices according to map pricing. No more, no less. I'm not telling you this so you think I'm a hero. I'm telling you this because if you see someone selling products cheaper than us, you'll know they're cheating and buying from them will be contributing to this problem. So this makes sense with stores, but how does this apply to Amazon? Well, remember when I said Amazon is a platform that's available for anyone to sell on? Well, there's about 3.5 million get rich quick idiots out there that buy huge volumes of products, send them to Amazon and don't give a crap about map pricing because they just want to get the products on the site and get them sold as fast as possible so they can buy more and sell more. This greedy Mr. Krabs disciple will put them on Amazon for as cheap as possible, paying no attention to map pricing because they have no vested interest in this industry. They just went on Amazon's dashboard that's available to all sellers, found a product that's popular and bought a bunch of them because they know they'll sell really fast. If a manufacturer sends them a nasty email saying, hey dummy, you're violating our map pricing guidelines and you better knock it off, they don't care because most likely they've already sold out and moved on to the next product. This is how you can go on Amazon and see tons of aquarium products being sold way less than you'll see them on my site and certainly less than what you'll see them at the local fish store. Please understand if you take advantage of this, you're contributing to the problem. I totally get it. Everyone wants to save money and it's easy for me to sit here on my high horse and be critical of those who do. I'm just saying this is something that's happening every day. And when you take advantage of this, you're putting money in the pockets of scammers that are practically criminals. It's the equivalent of being at your local fish store and seeing a Title 110 on the shelf for $91.34, which is the map price if you're curious. And you're like, uh, that's a bit pricey for me, but you go outside and there's a guy in the alley that opens up his trench coat and exposes a bunch of Title filters. And he's like, hey man, I got what you need, man. I'll sell you that Title 110 for $69.99. Now you think I'm just being funny here. Well, while I was writing this script, I went to old Jefferson Airplane site and the first result I found when I searched for Title 110 was $69.99 being sold by Monster Pets. $21.35 less than the map price set by Seachem. 
This happens every single day. And if you're buying products like this for cheap on Amazon, you're putting money in the pockets of scumbags like Monster Pets while simultaneously contributing to the demise of your local fish store. And the last thing I want to say about map pricing, I want to send a special shout out to Seachem for their diligence fighting against this problem. I've had conversations with high level executives with Seachem that have told me about the hundreds of thousands of dollars they've spent on software to combat this issue. The system is so good that I'm sure by the time you see this video, that BS title listing by Monster Pets will be gone and guess how much sleep Monster Pets will lose over it? Zero. They'll just pick another product to undercut everyone on. Oh, wait a minute. I know I said only one more thing about map pricing, but I do have one more. I promise this is the last one. Amazon could give two shits about map pricing. You want to know how I know this? Well, it's because of exactly what I've just shown you. They get map prices sent to them by Seachem, so they know what these are supposed to sell for. Yet scumbags like Monster Pets were still able to list a product at well below map. Now let's talk about how stupid we are and how certain people are taking advantage of it. Have you noticed how different Amazon is now compared to how it was just five or six years ago? If you went on Amazon in like 2019 and typed in aquarium heater, you'd get suggestions that you'd expect like Fluval, Aquion, Marine Land, and Eheim. Type that in now and what do you get? Yuck, uh, yuck, yuck, uh, not gonna work here anymore. <laughs> AQQA. Hi Tawing, Higer, which actually makes some pretty good products, not sure about their heaters though. You get My Live Well, Aqua Neat, Palaku, Palaco, uh, High Top, and Datu. What the hell are all of these? Well, I'll tell you exactly what they are and how they've become so prominent on Amazon. They're there because of our stupidity. Now, trigger warning here, this next bit is gonna sound like I hate Chinese people. I can assure you I do not. I'm just being real with you and telling you what's happening. I'm not against products that are made in China and I'm certainly not against Chinese people. What happens is this, you get an executive at a Chinese manufacturing company that analyzes Amazon and says, hey, what are some popular products that we can make for super cheap and sell them on Amazon? Even if they're trash, it doesn't matter. Those rich Americans are dumb and will buy whatever's cheapest. They find those products, they make them super cheap, list them on the website way cheaper than other brands under stupid made up names that stand out to us dumb Americans. They put ridiculous titles on these products being sure to use every keyword imaginable to appeal to the masses. Here's a great example. Datu 50 watt aquarium heater, submersible adjustable temperature, fish tank heater, 50 watt. A suitable temperature is very important for our beloved fish. No suitable temperature, our fish will not survive healthy. How to create this comfortable temperature? Datu will help you. The Datu submersible aquarium heater is a system that create a warm and comfortable living environment for your lovely fish. Select Datu Aquarium Heater. Let us care about your fish starting from the water temperature. This is a 50 watt heater for $8.79. A 50 watt heater from a reputable brand like CJ is $42.99. Now again, I wanna be very clear. I'm not against products being made in China. I even have some on my website that I sell. All I'm saying is there's tons of stories out there about heaters malfunctioning and almost burning people's houses down. I don't know about you, but I'd feel a lot more comfortable with that Cichet or Fluval heater in my tank. You spend $8 on a cheap Chinese heater from a company that you've never heard of and, well, things might just happen because I promise you the Chinese have your dollars in mind, not your safety. And if you disagree that these Chinese manufacturers are building huge businesses using this strategy of making products specifically to sell in huge quantities on Amazon, answer this question. Have you ever seen a heater made by Yikahalu Akua Haituaoing My Live Well Aqua Neat Palaku High Top or Datu at your local fish store? I bet you haven't. 
So whether it's some young hotshot that wants to get rich quick by selling on the largest platform in the world, or it's the Chinese manufacturers taking advantage of our stupidity, Amazon is the perfect place for this. For the get rich quick kid, the nerd from New Mexico that became the richest man in the world got divorced, lost half of his fortune, and was still the richest man in the world, will take your products, have his employees, which he's been cited for abusing about a million times, take good care of them for you and get them sold quick. For a nominal fee, of course. For manufacturers that make cheap garbage that's made according to significantly lower standards and don't have to abide by American regulations, Amazon is a great place for you to unload your junk on a bunch of stupid Americans that only look at price and don't consider what they're actually getting and who they're putting money in the pockets of. Now, as I said before, if you're a frequent customer of aquarium products on Amazon, you can stop typing up your comment that says, John, I don't think this is fair. Some of us are on a fixed income and can only afford to buy products on Amazon. I'm not saying you're a bad person. I just want you to be aware of the real impact your purchases on that site are having. Yes, I'm opinionated and certainly biased. I hate Amazon at a level you probably can't understand. I hate them so much that I don't even like selling Amazon swords on my website. But I do because they're really popular. So if you want them, just go to keepfishkeeping.com. I have my opinions and you might disagree. And you know what? That's fine. We can disagree and still be friends. I won't call you names and ridicule you, but you have to know if you choose that site to buy aquarium products, you're contributing to the problem and have to forfeit your ability to complain that so many local mom and pop fish stores are closing down. Wake up, consider the big picture and stop sabotaging this industry that we all love so much. Cause if it doesn't stop, we might just have to find new hobbies. Oh, and monster pets go f yourself.